guys, welcome to a new reaction. I'm reacting to Kevin Smith's The 440 Movie. I'm nothing. I have no clue about what this movie is about. I just like Kevin Smith and Justin Long. So yeah. And if you're wondering why all these, why I'm wearing all the same shows and these reactions, I've been recording these these reactions in the same day. So that's why. is unlike any nun you've ever met, and she's got a secret. How come the nuns were never secret hookers when we were in school? Let's... Oh, uh, I think I know that. It's under that wig. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Say a prayer for... Okay. So is it like a, a nun who's secretly a shippel that kills the guys? Or he's like bad guys? I don't know. Sugar walls. Well, we're definitely seeing that. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, so I guess it's about a group of teenagers, and that was just like a fake shale. Makes sense. I thought that was the actual movie. I was like, well, what kind of movie? It would, seem, it would be a funny movie to watch, though, low key. He looks familiar. I just can't put my finger on it. May 25th, 1986. Today is a big day. Last summer, I was too scared to ask out Melody Barney, the raddest woman I ever met. But this morning, I invited her to the movies. So I guess this is a set in the 80s type of shit, type of crap. That's cool. I like 80s, 90s set movies. She said, okay, seriously. Uh, hold on one second. Me, when I asked that my question, she actually says yes. I'll see you at the 4.30 movie, Melody Barnegat. I'll see you at the 4.30 movie. Hey, she also looks familiar. The heck? Well, holy shit, Billy Idol. When's the white wedding? I've been thinking about asking Melody out all year. We made out in her pool last summer. What? Oh, so he's already Fine. in. He's already in. It's your shirt on. And you wonder why you don't get laid. I don't get laid because I'm Catholic. I would probably not. I mean, I can understand. Phil Noah was taking off show, take off his shirt with somebody like. We'll save seeds. You get snacks. You can't give them cutsies when they get back. I'll tell my dad. I don't care what you tell your dad, little kid. Dad, he showed me his private. He did what? I I. <laughs> nah, that little kid is devious. <laughs> what the fuck? Get up. Oh, I love, oh, I love that actor. I forgot his name. I'm pretty sure it was Ken, Ken Wong. I know I butchered his name completely, but he's a really good actor. I've seen him in a lot of stuff I like. Banned for life! Fuck my left nut! Not today! So much drama. I thought we're supposed to be seeing a comedy. Cool commentary. Wait, logic? No way. Oh, I'd be so fired if it's logic I'm thinking of. Uh, the logic he's saying. The rap, the, the rap logic. Hoorah! What the damn hell? What about me? Jesus Christ! Most people come to movies to escape their lives, but people like you come here because movies make life make sense. So this is like a coming of age stories, coming of age story about a teenager who loves movies. Cool. I can get behind that because I'm a teenager who loves movies. You're the coolest girl I ever met. And all I want to do is watch movies with you. Is that so? Mom, what the hell are you doing sneaking into R-rated movies? You're in trouble, Missy. I'm terrified by what's about... A logic! <laughs> That's awesome. What happened? What do you want to do? Have sex and get pregnant. That'll show her. If that's what you need. Okay, that actually looks really fun, really good, honestly. That looks like a really fun movie. Was that Justin Long still playing still playing a teenager? Dude is a new part of wood. We really happy Kevin Smith is doing the original stories again. Facts, facts. Can't wait for the part when we Yeah, this this is the kind of comedy I've been waiting for. So our next reaction piece.